Hello there, Trevor here from Double Bill Movies. Well, in my last video, um, I did an unboxing of a 4K for Nightmare. Um, and I said I wasn't going to watch it last night, but I did. <laughs> so, I'm going to do a review for you. Um, so we have Romano Scavellini's uh, Nightmare. In the UK, it comes under the name Nightmares in a Damaged Brain. Um, and also, it was one of the 39 successfully um, prosecuted titles um, by the UK government in the Video Nasties escapade um, in the mid-1980s. And <clears throat> I have the uh, 88 Blu-ray, but I have also now got this lovely skew. I seem to have got this early. I don't know how early because there is no release date yet on Blu-ray.com. Uh, it just says late um, summer 2023. But um, I'll show you it. I did show it last night, but I'll show it again. So um, we have a cover like this, but with nightmares in a damaged brain on it instead of just nightmare. Um, Lots and lots of bonus on this release. There's over nine hours of bonus stuff, um, which is incredible. Um, there are three discs. The Blu-ray.com listing is incorrect. Um, I have actually corrected some of it. I'm just waiting for it to be uh, amended on the website. Um, but there is a disc here called Damaged the Very British Obscenity of David Hamilton Grant. Um, he was actually, I think, imprisoned um, as a... He was a distributor, and uh, I think because he was distributing these video nasties, he was imprisoned. Um, and it says, plus four rare David Hamilton Grant productions. So... That's going to be fun to watch. So if you, um, I imagine when a standard version comes out, this won't be in here. So uh, I would snap this up while you can. Um, so of course this is from Severin in the US. Uh, I'm clearly not in the US, I'm in the UK. Um, hence Video Nasties. The UK, uh, Video Nasties, the term is sort of UK exclusive, but other parts of the world have started to take it on board. Um, so there's just a Blu-ray version of Nightmare and the 4K version, which is what I watched last night. Um, and I'll show you the reversible art. There we go. It's quite bloody, <laughs> but that's the reversible art. Um, I watched it with 5.1. And what I have to say about that is, I really don't know why they bother with these uh, old films sometimes to do 5.1. It makes zero difference. Um, yes, you can go and listen to each channel in your room and you'll have sound coming out of it. But because essentially it's come from either um, stereo or even mono, it's, there's not really much they can do. It would take a real expensive sort of remix complete remix to get a proper um what we call steered sound uh, where they steer it to the various channels um and they're clearly not going to do that for this but you know it's there and if you like to have the option of 5.1 when you buy these old films you've now got that option um i think next time i will stick with the the stereo the original audio um there's also a booklet in this um, set. It's not a very thick booklet or anything, but um, there's some essays and artwork and stuff in here. And probably information about the restoration. <coughs> um, so, of course, this lovely slip cover. Um, and there's the back of it. Um, so it's of course starring Baird Stafford, he's the main um, 
protagonist, well, um, he's the mental patient. <laughs> and um, Sharon Smith, I'm guessing that's the mother of the children, that uh, the, the main family in the, the film. Um, and it introduces C.J. Cook. He plays the young lad um, who's always playing these pranks uh, and getting himself into trouble. But when um, he's actually telling the truth, no one believes him. Um, it is a brilliant film. It's not got a, a massive twist to it as such, um, but I had forgotten what it was. Uh, um, and in, in watching it last night and when it was revealed, I was like, oh, that's really cool. So, um, well, I guess you want to know about the picture. Um, the picture is very noisy. It's very, there's a lot of grain, but there's a lot of noise. Um, now, the IMDb states that um, the film was shot on 35mm. I don't believe that for one minute, unless the source that Severin have gone to or got hold of to create this 4K um, was just of very low grade. The, um, the 88 films version... Um, you can't really tell in the pictures I'm about to show you, but, um, <clears throat> there's lots of damage and film dirt and everything on there, which looks fine. Um, it's a crusty film. It's a video nasty. It's meant to look gritty and grimy and, uh, nasty, <laughs> but, um, all the damage, uh, all the dirt and everything is now gone. Um, so they've done a great job of cleaning that up. Um, but unfortunately we are left with a lot of noise, um, especially in the bright areas, like in the sky and all that kind of stuff. Um, now I watched this on a projector, that one there, um, on my screen. And it is possible that because I cannot get as deep a blacks as you guys with your OLED TVs, or even just the TV in general, it doesn't have to be OLED, but obviously OLEDs have better blacks. Um, I think it may look better on your TVs. So this is for people with projectors. Um, it's very noisy and, but the colors are nice. Um, it looks like to me, a 16 mil film, not a 35 mil. Um, cause you know, a lot of it takes place in Florida, which is nice and sunny. So there should be plenty of light for the film to, um, be exposed to. And yet it looks very sort of low resolution, so to speak. Um, it's presented in its original aspect ratio of 185 to 1. Um, the 88 Blu-ray is 178 to 1. And I think I couldn't tell whether it was open matte, i.e. they got rid of the masks top and bottom and thus giving the whole picture. Or um, as we look with, when I show you the comparison pictures, whether this image is ever so slightly wider than that image. Um, but anyway, so not as pristine as I was sort of expecting, um, but still a clean version of the film. Uh, like I said, no damage, no scratches, um, and hopefully on your tellies, the picture will look really, really nice. Uh, and then when I want to, I have a crusty version to watch or an even crustier version. <laughs> Um, so let's look at some uh, picture comparisons, shall we? This is from um, the Blu-ray from 88. And it's, you know, it's quite a nice color. It's, it's quite a bright image. Um, the Blu-ray is definitely brighter than uh, the 4K. Um, and if I zoom in, you can start to see the noise that I'm talking about. Um, that's not from lack of resolution on my camera. That is just uh, film noise. Um, it's kind of different to grain. Grain is fine. Um, this is not like a bad grain. This is uh, noise. So, <clears throat> but like I said, this is from the Blu-ray. Um, if I then, so this is also the Blu-ray. And I'll show you, I'll zoom in and you can see the noise again. It looks like it's snowing, doesn't it? But it's not. Um, now, the difference between the 185 aspect ratio and um, the Blu-ray, which is in 178, um, 
if you look at this red area on this uh, building here um, and then obviously the black outline right around the edge is the edge of my screen as you can tell um, that red area is is missing um, now it's not a fault it's just what the 185 aspect ratio is like um, I'll show you one more image from the blu-ray so this is the uh, babysitter who gets somewhat terrorized <laughs> and um, you know there's not masses of detail but um, you can see the noise again um, but the colors are quite nice so that's the blu-ray now let's go to the 4k um, what do you notice straight away it's much darker picture um, but to me more naturally dark not too dark it's not going to be one of these oh they've made it too dark um, not at all uh, don't forget this image is 109 inches or 106 inches whatever the size of my screen is um, and you're seeing it on your telly from my phone uh, shrunk down so um, it's, it's brighter than this in real life. I tried to get the settings as best I could using the professional settings on my phone um, to make it look as accurate to what my eyes were seeing um, <clears throat> and for the colors to be correct as well. So as you can see, the door looks better if I zoom in. Um, yes, you may see less detail in his hair and everything, but that's because we weren't supposed to see that amount of detail you have to remember that films are overexposed um, so they can capture all the detail they want and then they grade it afterwards so they'll darken it down afterwards so this is more to do with the levels we're supposed to see not what the blu-ray showed us um, so yeah the, the the noise is still there it's perhaps a bit finer not quite as bad and in this blanket this sheet on the wall um, there's a lot more detail and you can see more creases and things and everything um, let's go to the these cityscape and uh, if you look at the sky there is sky detail um, you know clouds and uh, the snow doesn't look quite so snowy does it um, <laughs> There's a bit more building detail and everything. Um, yes, so if I go in further, the noise is kind of there, but not as bad. Um, now this is the uh, the red area I was telling you about. Um, what you can see below it is the 185 mask. Um, so like an inch thick line between uh, the bottom of the picture and uh, the edge of my screen. Um, it's more visible the mask here where these uh, two rows of tiles sort of stop um, and then there's a big gray line and then there's the uh, the bottom of my um, screen but like I said this is how we were meant to see it so it's not a fault there's nothing to complain about um, and then the last image and there we go to me that's more natural colors yes it's darker but it is sort of a dusky time of day um, and they're in the shadow so um, to me, there's better colors in the foliage and everything. The blue on her shirt is better. And what I um, meant by, I think, um, the image on this might be slightly wider than uh, the image on the Blu-ray is if I go to, oops, sorry, don't want to make you look queasy, but this here, this gap between um, the pillar and then obviously the edge of the picture uh, and my my screen. Um, and if I go to the other one, where is it? No, nah, not much different. There might be a little bit less. Um, so anyway, let's go back to the first one. So this is the Blu-ray. That's quite washed out. That one I think not so much um, detail in the sky. And yes, it's brighter and you might like the fact that there's more detail. So maybe stick with the Blu-ray. But um, if you want the 4K and you want to see how it's meant to be seen, um, then the 4K is definitely for you. Uh, I definitely prefer the 4K. I think it's a nice picture. Um, judging by what I imagine the material they got hold of to create the 4K, um, we may not get a better version than this. Um, and the last image. 
So, yes, there you go. Anyway, back to me. Hmm. So there we have it. Um, like I said, it's a very noisy picture, um, but if it is, if it was actually filmed on 16 mil, then it's perfectly um, correct to, for us to be seeing it this way, as far as I'm concerned. Um, you know, don't need to go into the difference between um, film stock sizes, eight mil, 16 mil, 35 mil, uh, 70 mil, and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, they throw up different aspect ratio, uh, resolution, um, or quality pictures, images, should we say. Um, but um, it's definitely the best way to see this film. Um, I don't think it will ever look any better unless they um, go back to the negatives. And if it was actually 35 mil, um, I think I read that this was done from um where did i read it maybe i didn't no i've read a couple of um 4k restoration booklet things of late so i don't want to say anything incorrectly um there you have it <clears throat> Severin's 4K of Nightmare, or Nightmares in a Damaged Brain. Um, get it while you can, when you get this nice slip on it. Um, it's a really, uh, this is folded over, so it really slides on and off nicely. Um, very easy to put on, doesn't get caught up anywhere. And um, obviously there's the booklet and stuff. But... Um, Yes, I really enjoyed watching it again, and I thought I needed to get a review out for you guys. Um, so I hope yours turn up soon. Uh, let me know in the comments if you like this film, if you've seen this film, and please give this video a good thumbs up um, so plenty of people can get uh, a sort of a heads up as to what they're in for when they buy this 4K. Uh, so I'm Trevor, this is Double Wheel Movies, um, and I'll see you in the next video. So take it easy.